Welcome to the gap. This is the gap. They should have never gave you platforms. Let's get right into it. And uh, we got to talk about online behavior. Um, yeah, because there's a lot of bullshit going on. God damn. People online behavior be wowing. And how I'm going to tie this in, I'm going to tie this in with what's going on, you know, with the Kanye. This online behavior is a little erratic, you know. And also that I talk about, you know, I'm going to talk about this TikToker. You know, he got fired from his job. Uh, yeah. Anyway, look it. My sources, again, the world, the medias of the social, all that good golly shit. You feel me? <laughs> but yeah, man, online behavior, like, I noticed, man, it's a lot of people in their online persona, man. They be wilding out. They be acting erratic, be acting crazy, saying certain shit that they know damn well they wouldn't do in real life. That online behavior got a lot of people going crazy and, like, you see it within Kanye shit. Uh, you know, Kanye threatening to beat up D.L. Hughley. And then Steve Harvey came in like, I don't know about that, bruh. Me and D.L. Hughley from the era of a whooping yo ass era. So uh, his money on D.L. Hughley. But yeah, he talk about, I could get your touch. I got enough money for that. I'm like, damn, nigga. Incrimination. <laughs> like, bro. Also, this nigga been going at Pete Davidson a lot because we all know Pete Davidson is dating, or now they're together now, Kim Kardashian, which is uh, Kanye's ex-wife. Um, Yeah, and this online behavior, like, now Kanye getting stripped from the Grammys because of his online behavior, his threats, and all that shit. And, uh, I don't know, man, I saw that genius documentary, bro, and I'm just like, I don't know if Kanye really about throwing the hands. Cause he ran up on bruh, but it was kind of like, uh, like a slight jog. You know, niggas really run up. I run up and whoop your ass. He ran up like, he did a slight jog. Uh. Then they talked, and Kanye was just bitter. Then he talked. So I don't know, man, but the only behavior guy, I'm like, yo, I beat your ass. I whoop your ass. Nigga, don't fuck with me. I'm like, okay, that nigga trying to try sound a little gangster. And he been hanging around, you know. Certain gang members and stuff like that, and thugs and the wolves and all that. So, online behavior be having people go erratic. Also, it's this TikToker, right? So, I guess he's famous on TikTok. I don't the f know, but I know he got fired from his job because he basically moved into where he worked at. Because it makes sense, though. He said that basically the reason why he did it was because gas prices is going hella high, you know? I gotta pay so much to get to work, and then it's like, I'm wasting money doing this. So why not just move in where I work at? Kill two birds with one stone. But he had to put it on TikTok. And that's what I mean by online behavior and how it's so damaging at times. Because you would think, like, you don't want your job to know this, right? You want to keep this discreet until you really get on your feet so then you can move out of where you work at. But nope. This motherfucker has to put it on goddamn line. God damn, bro. Like, what the what the hell are you thinking, bro? Jeez. Niggas is not thinking at all. Oh, my God. But, yeah. He put it on TikTok. And, yes, like you guessed it, his job found out and canned his dumb ass. That was, I thought that was stupid. It's like, I know what you're doing. You putting it on TikTok so you could get more likes, more views. I guess it got 12 million views. But who gives a Four. about the views if you fired from your job? Unless you got a bunch of content behind you. Then I'm like, okay, now you got something to work with. But who knows? I don't know. But it's like, online behavior is stirring away from you being discreet. And you want to be discreet in that situation. Right? You don't want your job to find out. Clearly, if you're moving into where you work at, times must be a little rough. Unless you work it from home. Which I thought, like, bro, why is this nigga, why can't he work from home? <laughs> I'm confused. He looked like he was in a cubicle and it looked like a like a call center. And I'm 
pretty sure call centers nowadays is like, oh, you got to work from home. But they are telling motherfuckers they got to get back to work, though. So uh, that probably could have been the one thing. Like Google, they like, nah, y'all niggas coming back to the facility. You saw all this shit we bought for y'all? We bought ping pong tables, pinball machines, all this coffee maker stuff. Y'all coming in. All right? <laughs> Oh my goodness, bro. But yeah, it's just his online behavior kind of damaged him in real life. And I see this a lot in online behavior. A lot more people try to be more tough, more aggressive, more erratic, say things they would never say in 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 people face. In real life, they wouldn't act this way. And it's just unfortunate, man. People online behaviors is changing the landscape of, landscape of how people really act. And how certain situations should be discreet. But they not. So, I I hope that TikToker, bro, I wish the best for a bro. Because, you know, he a black man. And I want all my black men. Well, I want all black people to do well. But he a black man. I want him to do well at the end of the day. I just, I just wish, like... Just as people weren't so idiotic when it comes to online behavior. And it's like, they think like it's like a whole nother metaverse type thing. But it's like, no, nigga, you put something online, if you work somewhere or whatever, you could get potentially fired. Or you could get stripped from <laughs> being at the Grammys or performing. Or, you know, incrimination of shit. So, at the end of the day, my solution, I mean, like, people gonna act the way they gonna act. I don't know. This is the time and the era we live in. And I remember both times when we didn't have the internet back in the day. And now that we had the internet and how behavior is changing and shit. But my solution is basically, uh, nigga, change all behaviors, bro. What the f***, man? Everything don't need to be online. Sometimes you could, you could have your offline behavior. You feel me? Use that more often. Shit. Man, it be crazy, bro. I be... I be thinking too, and I be seeing people on the phone. Like, I see like a, a skinny little white boy on the phone, right? And if you, you walk past him, he you going to? Oh, I'm sorry. He be like this. You going to? Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Oh, this, you know damn well this nigga about to be on the phone, and be like, man, I just bumped into this this bitch ass motherfucker. You know what I mean? He didn't want the problems. You feel me? It's like, then he put dot dot dot. Nigga, <laughs> we like, oh no, jeez, online behaviors, god damn, yeah, but my solution is like, yo, we, some shit gotta be discreet, man, for real, like, and online behavior could be detrimental to your real life, so keep that in mind, you know what I mean, but, uh, <sighs> Online behavior could be very horrendous. Let's uh get it out of here. Jeez.